So you see a lot of children here. Can you tell me what, what their needs are, uh, what are their, um, their illness, what do they suffer from in general? بتشوف أطفال كثير هون فيك تحكي لنا إيش أغلب المشاكل اللي بيواجهوها من إيش بيعانوا؟ في مشكلة كبيرة عندهم في التغذير تغذية الطفل تغذية غير صحيحة طبعا هاي أغلب السبب الأغلب لها الأمر عدم توفر الإمكانيات المادية ناحية ثانية جو البيئة شفتوها بيئة صحراوية صعبة. فكثير بسبب امراض الجهاز التنفسي العلوي، بسبب امراض جلديه. هي اهم الاشكالات اللي بيعانوا منها الاطفال هون. Most of the problem that the children face is malnutrition because nutrition is very important but because of lack of needs they're not able to provide for the kids. And the other problem is that uh, the environment, and as you can see, you know, the environment is a very dusty, it's a desert like environment. It causes a lot of uh, respiratory. Uh, problems, a lot of uh, skin diseases. Mm -hmm. These are you know, the majority of the problems that children face. Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, cases of acute malnutrition in the camp? How much? Acute, like very severe, like. Healthy halat hada hada malnutrition hal yani. So tardi had halat so tardi had. في حالات طبعا هون في جهاز مسؤول عن هالحالات سوء التغذيه احنا وظيفتنا انه لما بيجينا حاله حاده بنحيل لهذا الجهاز وجهاز عنده نوع من الاغذيه بيدعم الاطفال فيها. Yes, there is the clinic J has is the one responsible for uh, this kind of uh, problems and if we get a case like this we refer it to J has because they do have uh, the proper nutrition to be able to treat uh, these cases. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of, of, um, of um, equipment here. Uh, is there anything you're, you're lacking? Is there anything you wish you had to, to do uh, your job uh, even better? I feel like you have a lot of equipment here, but do you have a lot of equipment or do you want to be able to do it so that you can do it better? Of course, we have a lot of equipment. All of them, for example, the whole system is not there. The CT scan is not there. عندنا هون مثلاً نطمح أن يكون في جهاز تصوير ماموغرافي تصوير الثدي عند النساء غير متوفر عندنا من يكون موجود إضافة لذلك أجهزة عينية نحن موعودين سامس إن شاء الله رح نجيب أجهزة عينية طبيب عينية ضروري المخيم إضافة مثل ما حكيت الأمراض الجلدية كمان كثير كثيرة هون محتاج لطبيب جلدية قصائي جلدية الأجهزة الثانية يعني بتعرف الوسائل الأساسية موجودة عندنا. قلت لك بس بحاجة لأجهزة سي تي سكان أو جهاز ماموغرافي. Yes, you know, we do have, we are missing some equipment. For example, we don't have a CT scan. The entire camp does not have a CT scan, and we need one. And we need a mammograph scan or X-ray for ladies. Uh, we do need, uh, for example, a specialist for like uh, eye equipment and eye doctor and skin doctors or mm -hmm. skin specialist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you've worked um, with these children before the war and after the war, during the war. Uh, what are the differences you saw um, in terms of, of the way you have to practice your work in those, with those children, um, children who have been exposed to the war? Uh, how's that different? How do they react to care, for instance? I worked مع الأطفال قبل الحرب قبل الأحداث وخلال الأحداث وبعد الأحداث شو الفرق اللي لقيتهم بالأطفال من قبل الأحداث وبعد الأحداث أو خلال الأحداث؟ طبعاً التأثير نفسي للحرب واضح عند الأطفال بشكل يومي إحنا عم نواجهه مشاكل نفسية أحياناً مشاكل التأقلم مع الأسرة مشاكل التبول الليلي الأحلام الكوابيس مش فاكر نقص الشهية على الطعام كمان عم نشوفها وما لها اي سبب من ازواج الاسباب النفسيه. آه هاي كلها امراض ما كنا نشوفها قبل الحرب. Yes, there is there is a difference. We've seen a lot of kids that got uh, traumatized or they got psychological problems. Uh, they got traumatized and they have problems dealing with their families. Uh, some kids they have, uh, for example, lost of appetite. Uh, some of them uh, they went to bed at night and they have, you know, fear and psychological problem. We've seen that which we did not deal with it prior to uh, the crisis. Mm -hmm.
and how, how do you deal with those children? How do you manage to calm them down and, and, uh, and provide care to them? كيف بتعامل مع الأطفال هذول؟ كيف بتهدوهم وبتقدموهم العلاج؟ طبعا نحن نقدم العلاج الفيزيولوجي اللي أو الأمراض الفيزيولوجية العضوية اللي بتصير مع الطفل لأن الحالة النفسية في مراكز للطب النفسي بنحيلها عليهم. طبعا الطفل اللي بيعاني من اضطراب نفسي أحيانا في صعب إنه صعب إنه نتعامل معه حتى نفحصه حتى نبذل جهد كبير إحنا والأهل حتى نستطيع إنه نفحصه. اليوم قبل شوي يعني مرض الطفل هيك كان بصعوبة إنه نجلسه على السرير ونفحصه بجوز لو كنت هون كنت شفتوه بشكل يومي بمر علينا هيك حالات. For those children, most of them, you know, we provide physiological care for them. We'll be able to treat them, but if they have psychological problem, we have to refer them to other centers that handle such cases. And of course, sometimes we get kids; it's very difficult for us to examine them. Today, we had we had a case; it was very difficult. If you were here earlier, you will find that it was very difficult for us to to examine them, and we have to refer them to a specialist. Can you tell me a bit more about this uh, this case today? So what happened with this child? What what did he see? Why was he in this state? Can you tell us about the situation that came today? What happened with her? And what the events that led to her? Why did she come here? He was a child with his father and his mother. He lived with his father. So it was difficult to get any request for him. For example, he was in a very difficult situation. رغم انه عمره شيء ثمان سنوات حتى نشيله ونجلسه آه حتى تم الفحص كمان في صعوبه انه يثبت ظل ثابت بما كان آه حتى يحكوا لي بالبيت الادويه بصعوبه حتى يعطوه اياها آه حاله خاصه عم بروح على المراكز النفسيه ولكن آه حاله مميزه يعني تاثير الحرب عليها بشكل مميز this case, he's a child, eight years old. He's an orphan, lost his mother and father. He's living with the relatives. And it's very difficult for him to respond to requests. For example, we tell him, you know, to lay down on the table, you know, he won't respond. We have to carry him and put him on the table. And it's very difficult to keep him still while we uh, examine him. It was a very, uh, very difficult case. And even the parents, or not the parents, sorry. The family, they would tell us at home, it's very difficult uh, for them to get him to take the medicine. So he is going to psychological center for treatment, but he still he got traumatized big time in the war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you mentioned that that you were uh, really positively affected by this. Um, what makes you most proud in your work every day? إيش أكثر إشي بخليك فخور يعني بشغلك اليومي؟ بجوز أنا وكل طبيب. أكيد كل طبيب يعني فرحته الكبرى لما بيجي مريض وبيحسن يساعده على الشفاء وصل لمرحلة براجعه بالله إنه الحالة شفية تمام هاي هي اللي بتعزي أنفسنا وخلينا نتحمل هالتعب وهالضغط الموجود لما نشوف فرحة الشفاء عن الطفل أو الطفل الصغير أو الكبير فرحة الشفاء شغلة كثير كبيرة I think myself and all the doctors are probably being able to provide the service and see the healing process, we see the patient healed. That, that brings out uh, joy to us and we're very proud uh, of that, to be able to see that patient that already healed for, healed for services that we provide. That would make us very proud. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're a Syrian refugee yourself, so, and you're caring about Syrian refugees. What does that mean to you? يعني انت لاجئ سوري وبتعالج لاجئين سوريين شو بيعني لك هذا؟ آه انا هذا بعني لي الواجب واجب اساسي لازم اقوم فيه مثل ما حكيت لكم احنا اول ما جينا اللجوء عملنا سنه ونص من اموالنا الخاصه اموال كنا آه يعني اجت اجت معنا من سوريا عملنا فيها مركز طبي وعالجنا الناس فيها من اموالنا بدون اي دعم من اي منظمه ضلينا سنه ونص نشتغل و نعالج الناس من اموالنا. بعد ما نبذت لاموالنا لجانا للمنظمات لجانا لسامز والحمد لله تفهمت وضع سامز. انا كلاجئ واجبي الاساسي وكطبيب واجبي الاساسي اني اعالج اللاجئين. لحد الان انا حتى في منزلي بيجيني اللاجئين بعاجل لهم مجانا بدون اي مقابل. It's our duties to do so as uh, I said uh, prior to this you know for the first year and a half. 
uh, we established a center and we did not get any aid we were from our pocket money, from the money we brought with us or money we saved, uh, we were able to help uh, the Syrian refugees. When the funds ran out, then we had to go to the NGOs and, and, and SAMs uh, for support. But we believe that it's our duties. And for me, as a Syrian doctor, it's our duties to do so. Until now, sometimes I get patients, they come at home uh, after working hours and I treat them completely for free because it's my duties to treat the refugees. Mm -hmm. And how, so you're able to see from this vantage point um, the state of, of mind of the children that have been here for a while. How do you see that evolving? Um, are, they, are they slowly getting better? Do they manage to overcome the traumas? And how do you see the children that have been here for a while? How do you see the children that have been here for a while? How do you see the children that have been here for a while? How do you see the children that have been here for a while? العتب النفسي ما زال موجود آه عدد من الاطفال يعني بيجونا كان في محوم حاله نفسيه وما زالت موجوده آه قسم قليل اللي آه تراجعت الحالات النفسيه يعني قسم قليل الاغلبيه موجوده بجوز زي مره انا بعتقد انه الجو المخيم ما عم بيساعد انه يتجاوز هالمرحله most of the children, they still have that trauma effect on them. Some of them have already retreated and become better. But uh, uh, I think a large number, they still, they're still traumatized or it have the effect of the trauma uh, in them. And I think the environment of the camp is not helping to reduce that trauma. Mm -hmm. In what sense? In any way, يعني الأسرة بتكون عدد كبير بكرفانة واحدة الغبرة الوضع سيء الجو سيء كل هذا عمل probably seen in the camp like that the environment is is very harsh environment it's difficult to live in a large member of the families they would live in you know in in one caravan the dust from healing does not help so, what do you wish for the future in the camp? شو بتأمل في المستقبل في المخيم؟ والأمل الأساس من هاي لازم السورية ونرجع على بلادنا هاي الحل الأمثل إنه طيب أما بالمخيم يعني نتمنى إنه تنحل هالمشاكل الموجودة مثل مشكلة المياه الكهرباء بساعد اللاجئين يعني تريحهم تخلي حياتهم أكثر راحة. I wish for the original. I wish for that the war will stop. You know, the original problem will stop, and we can go back home. But for inside the camp, I'll, I hope that uh, they will resolve the problem that we're facing inside the camp. For example, like the water problem, electricity uh, problem, and that would help people to live more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And as for your future, uh, personally, what do you hope? Now, مستقبلك أنت شو بتتأمل؟ مش زي يعني أنا يعني بلاقي من العمر ما ما راح يصير تغيير بحياتي يعني هذا راح تستمر كطبيب أطفال ما في أي طموح غير إنه بلدنا يستقر ونرجع نعيش في بلدنا. For me, I reached the the age that that's it. You know, I'm I'm a pediatrician and I'm practicing my life. But my ambition is to to go back, you know, home and practice our life. Our country will be calm and safe. Thank you very much for all for your time.